Have you noticed how we're getting slammed by a never-ending string of weather emergencies? It's crazy. In the middle of 2023, the farms in the Midwest are getting destroyed by this never-ending drought. Dust storms are even happening as far up as Illinois. And can you believe it? Vermont just had the worst flooding in almost a century. It's unreal. And don't even get me started on the Southwest. The heat there is off the charts, like nothing we've ever seen before. I know this is a touchy subject, but let me tell you, there are two camps on this issue. Some folks think all of this is normal, just a regular part of life. Then there's another group that believes we can change our ways and fix the weather. But honestly, both sides are way off. What we are beginning to experience is, the apocalyptic weather of the end times. And let me tell you, it's only gonna get crazier from here on out. Right now, that scorching heat wave hitting the southwest is making headlines all across the country. It's a total nightmare. Across a wide swath of the U.S. from Texas to Nevada, a major heat wave that is threatening to break temperature records continued to bake parts of the south and southwest on Wednesday, sending people scrambling for relief and adding to what has become a series of weather extremes that researchers say fit the pattern of a warming environment. Temperatures well into the triple digits are expected this weekend, from California to Texas to Florida, with parts of Nevada forecast to reach 116 degrees Fahrenheit, and cities in Arizona expected to hit a staggering 118 degrees Fahrenheit. These temperatures are no joke, they can be deadly. Unfortunately, we're facing a real risk of people losing their lives due to the extreme heat in the coming days. In Phoenix, things are getting really intense. Believe it or not, there's a chance the city might hit a whopping 120 degrees. That's only happened three times before in history, so you can imagine how serious the situation is. While the 120 degree mark is not a certainty for Phoenix, it is possible late this week and this upcoming weekend, Aku Weather Senior Meteorologist Alex Isnowski warned this week of forecast temperatures for the famously arid city, known as Arizona's Valley of the Sun. The city has seen 13 consecutive 110 Fahrenheit plus days, and now weather experts warn the city may soon challenge its all time record of 18 days. Get this. The highest temperature ever recorded in Phoenix is a scorching 122 degrees. Can you believe that? And you know what? There's a real possibility that this record might actually get shattered. It's insane. But let me tell you, even without breaking any records, the heat right now is off the charts. It's so intense that it's actually melting the tar on the roofs of some homes. I mean, that's just mind-blowing. That's how crazy hot it is out there. How bad is the Phoenix heat wave? The tar is melting off the newish roof on our house, Astrid Galvin shared in a post. On TikTok, one hilarious resident shared a video of himself frying an egg on a grill that was not plugged in, but heated up by the sun. Gotta love Ah Summers, the creator captioned the video. That is hot. Unfortunately, conditions are going to be like this for a while. These oppressive temperatures are being caused by a heat dome that is now set to persist through much of the month. A sprawling area of high pressure currently positioned directly over the four corners is responsible for the scorching temperatures, which are unusual even for the notoriously hot expanse. Known as a heat dome to meteorologists, the phenomenon is now set to persist through much of the month, scorching metros in Arizona, Nevada and California in the process. And of course, this is happening in the context of a historic global heat wave. In fact, we are being told that last month was the warmest June since at least 1850. Last month was the warmest June globally since at least 1850, when record keeping began, according to a new report by Berkeley Earth, a nonprofit research organization that focuses on climate data analysis. The report found that June 2023 broke the previous record, set last year, by a large margin, putting the Earth on track for one of the warmest years on record, if not the warmest. Meanwhile, ocean temperatures also continue to rise. If you can believe it, some areas off the coast of Florida are actually experiencing hot tub-like water temperatures. 
buoys off the coast of Florida, measured hot tub-like water temperatures near 97 degrees Fahrenheit on Monday, in the shallow, heat-prone Florida Bay, between the southern tip of Florida and the Keys. The more ecologically vital and expansive coral reefs are located east and south of the Florida Keys, but the buoy measurements indicate just how extreme the heat in Florida has been so unusually early in the summer. Ocean temperatures around Florida usually get hotter as the summer progresses and don't reach their peak until late August into September, Manzella said, meaning ocean temperatures could rise further. If ocean temperatures stay this high, it will significantly intensify any major storms that come along later this year. Perhaps this explains why farmers' insurance has suddenly decided to completely pull out of the state of Florida. Farmers' insurance will stop offering its policies in Florida, including home, auto and umbrella policies, in a change that will force thousands of people to change their insurance provider. The company said in a statement that its decision to get out of Florida was a business decision, necessary to manage its risk exposure in the hurricane-prone state. Farmers serves 100,000 customers in Florida, but said there will be no impact to customers who use farmers' own subsidiaries like Foremost Signature and Bristol West. So, why is all of this happening? Well, whenever there is a lot of solar activity, temperatures tend to rise, and right now, sunspot activity has spiked to very alarming levels. So, we are being cooked from above, and we are also being cooked from beneath. In a previous video, I discussed some of the very unusual things that are happening on our ocean floors. For example, some scientists recently discovered a sprawling field of hydrothermal vents on the floor of the Atlantic Ocean that are releasing material hot enough to melt lead. On March 12, a team of scientists gathered in the control room of the RV Falker 2 and a scenographic research vessel operated by the Schmidt Ocean Institute. They watched a monitor of a camera-wielding underwater drone, or ROV, as it explored the deep sea 2,000 meters below the ship. When the screen showed a plume of black smoke, the scientists cheered. The video showed a sprawling field of hydrothermal vents, fissures in the seabed where seawater mixes with magma, on the Pi de Falls volcano on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Some of the vents, known as black smokers, had formed tall chimneys of iron sulfide deposits that gushed out dark sulfurous plumes, with temperatures up to about 340 degrees Celsius, or 644 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. During the months and years to come, the Earth will get even more unstable, and that is because we really are living in the end times. Sadly, most people don't want to hear the truth. Most people just assume that the politicians have everything under control. But they don't. What is happening to us is outside of our control, and the birth pains that we are experiencing will only become more intense in the days ahead. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.